All right guys, so this will be a little different than typical. Normally I would do tire inflators outside, but it's getting colder with health issues and stuff. I don't need to be out in the cold very much. So um, I actually have a couple of these. And so I'm just gonna show you this one uh, indoors to give you an idea of what you're looking at. So you have your instructions. You have a very long cord course nice cord here everything tucks right inside the back including the uh, inflators and the extra fuse and such uh, these are inflators like if you want to inflate a ball or you know um, like a football or something like that or if you want to inflate like a child's raft or uh, like a pool or something like that you know you could do so uh, not using these yet but I think this is pretty cool kind of uh, red for bad green for good as far as air goes. Um, I'm not decided if I'm going to use these. Part of that's because on the back it shows that there's different models available and I don't know which model this is so I don't know if they're going to be uh, appropriate for the amount of air that I have. Plus uh, the car has different front to rear pressures so I don't know if that's going to pose a problem but I think it's nice. They're not plastic, they're metal and it's just a, a little nice inclusion. Uh, you, know, you have your box it comes in of course so different information uh, this does uh, I think it's 150 psi and an average car tire is supposed to be inflatable under five minutes I just think it's nice to top off and what I like about it one is it's very small in size it does have a light on it and what I really like the most about it is the ability to use the LCD put in the pressure you want, have it pump up to that point, and then stop. So let me plug it up right quick just to give you an idea. Of, so you can see the light there. And you can see the LCD, hopefully, I don't know how clear or how well you can see it, but it shows up quite well. You can change the different, um, you know, from PSI to different parameters of that way. Then you have a plus or minus. So I can go 31, 30, you know, 0.5, 32, 32.5. So I can keep increasing or you know, decreasing down. Um, set the actual inflation that I want. Of course, you have your uh, connection here. And once you connect that, lock it down, you can actually start it. And once you start it up, it'll pump to that point and then stop. So it's really nice. You don't have to worry about that. You also have. Uh, the digital readout so you can you know keep a uh, monitor on what's going on with things so overall this is one of the smaller units that's very portable uh, very simple to operate and again you can just you know wind everything up and tuck it back into itself so it's very very portable um, so yeah these are just a great thing to have and I definitely suggest like a lot, of, a lot of the smaller cars these days don't come with spare tires. They come with, um, some of them come with tire inflate, inflation, uh, you know, something similar to this, or they come with like, like a, a goop type um, where you can actually, like a slime that you fill and it fills the hole. So this is a great backup or spare or something for an older vehicle. And then, of course, you have, like I said, the different options with the fuse and the uh, caps that they include. Uh, simple, very short, manual, but it's very easy, very basic, so there's not a whole lot, you know, learning curve-wise uh, and easy to read. But, yeah, overall, just a nice little unit. If you want to find out more about this, you can check out the link below the video to see more about it. But, uh, like I said, I have a couple of these. They're great to have around. Um, you know, so in case you need to actually, you know, top off a tire or just, you know, take care of some small things. But you can see it all tucks in very nice and neat, very quick and very easily. And it's not very large in size. Uh, this is basically like a laptop adapter. You can see it's not really that because it actually is the cigarette lighter adapter that I use. But um, it's not very large. So ultra portable. Okay. So I just want to share that with you really quickly and check out the link below for more information. Thanks for watching.